Prepare for South Jersey's most in-demand careers right in the comfort and safety of your own home. Register now for online classes at Atlantic.edu. Hey, everybody. Welcome to your bedtime forecast. I'm Nor'easter Nick. We are watching very closely an area of rain and thunderstorms out to our west. The winds are obviously picking up right now. And overnight could get a little scary for some of you. I, I totally understand it. If you have weather anxieties, been there, trust me, in the past. But you got to understand it's going to happen as long as you are prepared for stronger winds, uh, your step is tied down, your electronic devices are charged, you're going to be okay. On a level of, you know, 1 to 10, I'd say this is like a threat level of a 6. So not the worst, obviously not the weakest storm coming through either, but we're going to get through it together. Temperatures out ahead of our front are still way into the upper 50s, some of you still around 60 degrees. And look at that stark contrast out to the west, 25 in Cleveland, 27 in Columbus, 42 in Pittsburgh, but we're at 59 in Philadelphia. Winds are strong out of the south, and some of those gusts through tonight will be over 55 miles an hour. We'll drop down into the lower 50s by daybreak tomorrow, but we spend much of the overnight period around 60 degrees with that heavy rain coming in. We are going to be watching closely for maybe a squall line of thunderstorms to develop. Now, let me put this out there into the universe. If there's heavy rain like this, if there is a squall line, you're going to get those higher end wind gusts, okay? But if the heavy rain does not materialize, you don't really tap into the maximum potential above our heads at 5,000 feet. It's going to take something like this, heavy rain, very heavy rain, to translate 70% of that low-level jet to the surface. It is possible, okay? But oftentimes in these windy situations, we don't see that maximum potential come down because it doesn't connect the right way. So the potential's on the table. I think widespread 40 to 50 mile an hour gust, that's the base. I don't want you to be freaking out. I just want you prepared. By five o'clock in the morning, if that squall line develops, it is pushing offshore and things get better by seven, eight o'clock in the morning, okay? So going into tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon, things get better. Temperatures fall down into the 40s. It's going to get cold, sure. But at least the sky conditions improve and the rain is gone and will continue to fall into the 20s. So your high temperatures occur just after midnight in the middle of the night. Lingering morning rain, partly sunny and colder for the afternoon. Colder still on Saturday, still on the blustery side with winds gusting to over 30 miles an hour. 41 on Sunday, back up near 60 for a few days. It's not going to last. I think we turn colder by the end of next week.